Hi there, my beautiful Leo Virgo. Welcome into your July reading. So today we are going to look at your month ahead. And I do want to apologize if I sound a little different. Um, and if I have to cough from time to time, I am a little uh, sick, but everything is okay. So let's just get into stuff. We're going to start with a little overall energy. And today we're going to do sort of like express readings. Um, and essentially just anything you need to know for career, love life. And we're going to start with your overall energy. So what do we got for your month, oh my goodness, of July? If you want to have a personalized reading exactly as you see it here on YouTube, but like just for you, um, all you got to do is join us on Patreon on Look Mama, I'm Flying. You have a seven-day free trial and you'll receive a, a, a private reading at the beginning of every single month, okay? So with that being said, let's get here into stuff. We have wealth, man, dealings or relationship with a man, um, dolphin, financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past. Wow. Elephant, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. And wrath, sorrow over a loss. Okay. Uh, we also have here involvement with the law. Maybe with a January person? Or something related to January? What I'm getting here, I feel like something is coming to an end in your life. And I feel like this may have to do with, um... If it's not relationships, I feel like it could be, like, for example, a process of something that deals with people. So I see these has, like, separate messages. I feel like you're taking action on a lot of things wealth-related. I feel like you're gaining a lot of uh, beautiful blessings when it comes to that, when it comes to your career. Perhaps related to something you have been working on. Perhaps related to something that you dreamt of as a child. Perhaps related to something that you had launched and no one cared and now boom everyone starts to care but i feel like that is finances and finance wise i feel like everything is great definitely take messages however they resonate if if you're dealing with some sort of law process in your career please take it but i'm getting this has like the end i don't want to call it a karmic situation but i do feel like it's the end of a cycle with people so this could be like friendships this could be literally relationships. These could be, for example, just patterns. Maybe you have a pattern of not setting boundaries. You have a pattern of settling. You have a pattern of, uh, I don't know, just anything, you know? But it does appear that it's like, it has been a journey. It has been a cycle. And now you're learning the lesson, you know, something like that. And I feel like this is about relationships. Okay, so let's dive a little deeper because this career portion is looking pretty good. So let's start there. And then we're going to try and figure out what is going on there with that wrath. Okay. And I'm even getting this has like wrath of anger. So I don't know if there's like an argument happening with someone, a conflict happening with someone, and they're like parting ways. It does appear that it's something about those lines. But career, what do we got for career? What are the messages that we need? Okay, so we have protection, go outside, find balance, and healing. I feel like this is also uh, sort of like the end of a cycle where I feel like you now see your worth. I feel like you're now able to dream a little bigger, dream a little higher. I feel like you are capable of... I don't know. It's like you're no longer stopping yourself. Because I feel like this may have been something. It's like you were afraid to fall. And so you would hold back. And you would second guess. You would procrastinate. That kind of thing. And I feel like you're breaking a lot of patterns here too. So maybe July for you. It's going to be a breaking patterns kind of month. Or breaking cycles. Because I definitely feel like when it comes to career. There are so many blessings coming. Because you've healed your relationship with money. Because now you actually have a good like lifestyle work balance. Where before maybe you didn't. I feel like now you see your worth, you see your talents, you see everything that you're capable of. I feel like you're healing a lot of things um, within, and that is being reflected on the outside. That is so nice. All right. So, we have right here four of pentacles, eight, oh my goodness, eight of pentacles. Oh, wow, we have two of ones. Seven of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, and the Sun. So your 
uh well sort of i was gonna say that your virgo sign was popping up really big because i mean so much earth energy here but we also have here the leo so i feel like this is you and this is literally you finding not only the balance in your lifestyle work energies but also within yourself you know when to have fun and be lighthearted. you also know when to be disciplined and work hard uh and that is truly being reflected perhaps before like I'm seeing this has the past. It's like you were working hard and, and doing everything and work, 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 work. And your finances were stagnant. Your progress in your career were stagnant. It's like there was something that was like stiff. It wasn't being allowed to move, even though you were doing your most. And I feel like that is the part that was not working. It was that you were doing too much. I feel like you we're doing too much of the Virgo and not enough of the Leo. I feel like you weren't having a lot of fun. I feel like you were being too serious. I feel like you were not seeing your career has something that can bring you pleasure and joy, but only has something that can bring you money. And I feel like that is something that this month you're changing because I feel like now you have something to fight for, especially with that dolphin thing. Financial gain from something you did in the past. I feel like it could definitely be related to this, but it's now that you don't care or it's now that you're not putting all of this amazing pressure on you, putting all of this pressure in general for things to be in a certain way, and I have to do this, and so much stuck energy. No, now you're just lighthearted, and hey, let's just go with the flow. I feel like it's when you let go of control, that is when things really start to flow into your life. And so I feel like now you're fighting for a dream, and not fi fighting for a financial goal. No, you're fighting for a dream, you're fighting for happiness, you're fighting for self-love and for things that you love. So to recap, I feel like in your career this month, you're seeing a lot of blessings coming in, especially when it comes to money coming in. I feel like you're seeing a lot of joy too, because you're focusing on that joy. So working super hard, focusing solely on the Virgo side, it's not going to cut it, okay? I feel like it's by finding a balance between these two, being disciplined and committed, but doing it with joy, that is the the thing that is going to work here. I feel like you're breaking a lot of patterns too, unhealthy patterns, uh, finding a lot of balance. I feel like you're healing stuff from the inside and that is being reflected on the outside. And in general, your overall career is very much protected, okay? Let's see here. <coughs> what do we got in terms of advice? It is up to you, speak up, and we have home. And I feel like this is, is almost like, be at home with your career. That thing of like, find joy, be happy. You know, and with this speak up, I feel like it's really important. Like, if you feel like you need more, ask for more. Okay, it is up to you to take the steps. If you want to go after something, go take it. Okay, with this chariot. Always do it with integrity, always do it with because um, I'm also seeing this, always do it with integrity, with sincerity, and with compassion to yourself, because seven of swords can be seen as like, uh, I don't know, lies and deceit, and people running away and the kind of thing, and I'm not saying that you're doing something illegal, <laughs> but I feel like in this case, it is like uh, trying to be something that you're not, right, on pretending to be this super um no i've got this and i am totally healthy you've been working 12 hours a day but you're super good with it it's about like not expressing your needs it's about not expressing also to yourself be honest with yourself about your insecurities and limiting beliefs and your procrastination and all of those things that are holding you back okay so i feel like it's important for you to speak up to yourself and be like hey yeah this is not gonna work we need to have more fun we need to do this we need to do that these patterns need to go and also speaking up to other people and being like hey i believe in this this is what i want to do and this is what we're going to do okay and if you for example work for someone and you want to ask for a raise it's like hey i've been doing this and this and this and this and i feel like i deserve a raise if you give me that i feel like i'm going to work a lot better i feel like i'm going to be much more productive because i'm going to feel more respected and valued you know that that kind of thing so that was career. Let's jump into love. And if nothing really comes through in love, we'll ask a few more clearer questions when it comes to that breath, okay? 
What do you got for love for Millie Virgos? Okay. So we have separation. That actually kind of makes sense. Uh, maybe some of you. Um, I do know that I have a Leo Virgo that is going through a divorce. Hey, maybe this is about it. <laughs> but maybe um, that Leo Virgo is not the only one. And it's like, maybe this time that divorce is actually finalized or there are some developments in that. I feel like you kind of are, maybe through the divorce process, you're learning something about someone. Or you're seeing like the true colors of your previous partner, you know, but separation, getting each other, uh, getting to know each other, healing family issues and religious factors. I do kind of see here two different things. I feel like they're is definitely a relationship that is developing in a relationship that is separating. So maybe there is a third party. Let's say this is about like you're divorcing and you're separated. And so you're just like letting go. Maybe you are finding out some truths about that person. But at the same time, maybe there is already someone that is in your field and you're getting to know each other and that kind of thing. And you could just be, you know, they, they could be helping you out through this process of separation and healing stuff, and that kind of thing, um, either way, just know that you are protected, okay, with these religious factors, just know that you are safe, that everything is gonna work out just great, okay, let's pull here some tarot to get more information, alrighty, overall energy, oh yeah, we have the three of wands, we have Tower, Judgment, look at you, the Hermit, wow, for this person, Knight of Cup, uh, Knight of Pentacles, King of Cups, Four of Pentacles, and we have the Eight of Pentacles, so I definitely see um, some disruption happening in your life, and I feel like this is definitely related to that separation, divorce kind of thing, um, and when it comes to this Tower, that is the moment that you're going through. And I feel like you are definitely waking up, learning a lot from that situation, getting better at self-love and getting better at working on yourself. That is definitely what you're focused on with this hermit. And I feel like maybe right now you just want to be a little bit alone, you know, and just want to just like relax and that kind of thing, especially with the hangman right here. It's like my love life right now, it's stagnant. I mean, I'm going through a separation, maybe a little bit of a longer one if it is a divorce. And I like it that way. Like, let me just be. Let me be single. Let me be alone. Let me just enjoy myself. And I feel like that is your intention. I feel like you're sort of going to have the possibility for that. Sort of not. Because you are at the same time, by breaking away from these patterns, by breaking away from toxicity and that kind of thing, you are opening up new opportunities for yourself when it comes to love. And so you have possibly a Virgo or a Cancer um, this could also perhaps indicate timeline, but a Virgo or a Cancer here could be coming forward. I feel like they are coming slowly, so I wouldn't be surprised if this is like a friend, and again, this is just someone new that you know now, but nothing serious, it's just a co-worker, just someone you're getting to know, just something like that, and the thing is, I feel like they are going to fall in love with you pretty quickly. Uh, if you already know them, they have feelings for you. I feel like you're not totally on board with that. I feel like you're super focused on career. But I really feel like you have something to work on here, okay? So, I feel like this month in your love life, this person is not going to make any sort of move towards you. I feel like this is like an ongoing thing that can take some time. Maybe this, again, speaking of timeline, maybe from Cancer to Virgo season to the end, things are going to stay the same. And then after that, Maybe there is some development. I feel like right now you're just focused on breaking free. And that is more than enough. <coughs> so keep doing you. And keep appreciating your journey. But what do we got here? Okay, so one of the things that is coming through. I feel like it is important for you to not associate the separation you're going through with your worth and with the potential things that are going to happen in the future just because it happened once it doesn't mean that it's going to happen over and over and over again again you've learned you've grown the lessons that you had to go through they are done 
and now you can go towards um, a new story, a new beginning. So make sure that the reason you're needing this time for yourself, that you're holding back in love, that you were, I don't know, giving giving your love life some time, make sure that it is because you do want that and you do want to just connect with yourself, connect with your heart, build that relationship with yourself, heal some things and not because you're scared. Not because you're avoiding something, okay? Because that is your advice. It's, I, I feel like this separation could be causing a lot of fears of new love. And it's important for us to kind of meditate, consider it, journal a little bit, reflect, okay? A lot of introspection is needed. So it's okay for things to be stagnant, but make sure they are stagnant for the right reason and not has an escape, Okay? not because of excuses. Alrighty, so let's get you here. Some fun stuff for you to do. <coughs> wow, we actually have a lot. Donate clothes, yoga class. <coughs> we have skydiving. Take out by candlelight. Breakfast in bed, tech free night, YouTube painting, bookstore or library. Oopsie. And we have window shopping. So um, I feel like they're pretty much clear with this YouTube painting. Essentially, you go on YouTube and you go through those follow along painting videos, um, tutorials and that kind of thing. And yeah, so feel free to, pre uh, to screenshot this if you want to, to have has a little inspiration. But with that being said, if you're interested in learning tarot with me and checking out more readings on Patreon, getting a private reading, merch, decks, journals, all of those things are going to be in the description box below. Don't forget to smash the like button for me and subscribe if you haven't already. Definitely let me know in the comments how this one resonated. And with that being said, this is it. So I love you very much. I wish you the best and hopefully we'll talk very, very soon. Bye-bye.